Hey guys and gals, welcome back to another Vinny Vid Productions video. If you guys enjoy watching layout updates, scratch builds on a budget, run op sessions, how to, train shows, contests, and reviews, scroll your mouse down here and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. If you like the vid, give it a thumbs up. Share this video on other media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and other model railroad forums. Help support my channel by donating to my PayPal account or using my Amazon link to make your purchases. Both links are in the show more section in this video down below. Let's get started. All right, guys, I mentioned in my other video that there might be a third run session here. Well, today I'm here with Tom Pelling. Pilling, sorry. Pilling, that's it. And uh, he is going to take my two SD70s around the entire layout, uh, all the way down to Phoenix from Ash Fork. So, Tom, you got the throttle in your hand, so let it rip. Well, let's start her up. Try to keep the scale speed here. Got it up to 14. It's a little bit higher than 14? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Hey, I like that water tower back there, Vinny. That's, that's, pa that's part of Ashwalk, actually. I gotta repaint it. It's uh -huh. gotta be white. Oh, okay. So they have one up there actually like that? Yep. Cool. And it says Santa Fe on it. Oh, how awesome. that look about that speed yep. a little bit faster that looks pretty good yeah all right and uh, one of my subscribers wanted to see a freight so here's your freight yeah a cool freight I like the rail box back there it's cool yeah there it goes we those boxes are over far enough I think yeah I really like how you've been scenicing all this. I like the trees you've got there. You really come since my last visit on Memorial Day last year. Mm -hmm. You really come quite a ways over here in this part of the layout. Bring it up a little bit more. All right. Get up to twenty. Oops. All right. That's, that's like a dead spot. Now we're going. This is the big, big Hell Canyon, right? That's yeah. the little one and this right. is the big one. Okay. I'm just amazed at all the the details you got down here. I didn't even notice that truck down there before. You know, a work not, truck. It's not even supposed to be down there. <laughs> oh, not, huh? <laughs> well, it's a good place for it though. Like a work truck is doing maintenance on the bridge or something. I think I can do it. If you put the throttle down, it should be okay. Yeah. That looks so cool coming around the corner there. Uh, it comes some message I got. <laughs> How tight is that curve there? Is it fairly tight? Which one? Uh, where it's going like pack back. No, it's, but it's about an 18. Oh, okay. That's cool how it goes under there. I like that. I really like that Drake cement plant. Haven't been working on that for a while though, have you? No. Yeah. 
kind of grades do you have? Is it around two percent? Okay. Another one's off. Like I said, you can put the throttle down once you get it going. Oh yeah, that's true. I love this part of Wickenburg. You know, when I first saw this on your videos, Vinny, mm -hmm. I'd driven under that bridge several times. I've seen that Best Western there, and yep. I've taken my big rig under that bridge, and you, you just captured the feeling of Wick Wickenburg so well. With the Saguaro cactuses, too, and all that. You did such a good job here. It looks just like <laughs> when I drove through the town. I think you're the first person I've ever seen to capture this part of Arizona this way, you know, to do it justice and make it look really authentic, how it really looks. Well, guys, we had uh, two bad auto cars that we had to take out of the consist. Let's see if we can make it the rest of the way with no problems. Yeah, so far, it's doing pretty good And what's on there. Now, if I were running one of my trains on this line, I'd have the caboose on it because, you know, I'd have my little hair earlier era. But this looks good. I like your trains. And one of these SD, uh, SD78s is the one I just put a decoder in, so it's not even speed matched to the other one yet. But they seem to be working pretty well together. Oh, wow. Yeah, they are. I didn't even realize you didn't have a speed match. They are doing good. Been there. Get ready to go down the Helix. Going over Arbor Free Dry River. Uh -huh. That's a nice speed you got it going at. I think I set it at 17 there. That's one of the things I noticed when I first saw your uh, your layout last year when I came in. I think I'd seen some of it in your videos, but when you really come in and see it in your train room, how well you've done the scenery on your uh, the upper portion of your uh, helix, it really looks cool. I haven't seen too many other people do that on their helixes like you've done. talking earlier about how you like the Montana Rail Link and I see you got those hopper cars there. Yeah, I got one of my subscribers is a big Montana Rail Link. Uh-huh, and these box cars too you got there. That's I don't cool. know if you're watching, it's Teddy Bear Levantine. He's an Australian guy. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know if I've seen him or not. Yeah, check him out. I mean, he hasn't been Probably posting that many videos lately because he's been working on the layout. Uh-huh, But okay. um, he's got a pretty, pretty decent sized layout. Yeah, some of those Aussies, they really have some good layouts down under. I'm impressed. I noticed that a lot of them, they love the American prototypes. Oh, yeah. Them. Yeah. A lot and, of them. And this guy, uh, Stu is his name. Uh-huh. Uh, he he uh, likes Montana Rail Link. Oh, okay. And every time I do a video where I'm running trains, he says, I love them Montana Rail Link cars you got on there. <laughs> Turn my buddy off a little bit to save it because i only got like 12 minutes left. I have to clean that and delete some stuff in there so I can make more room. Whoa, 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 let me stop it. Uh, 
it's still off a little bit. Let's get it out of the helix. I think it'll make it out and make it straighten out when it gets out. Where's it come out over here? Yeah. Okay. Got that rainbow color card. Was that a gift from Sparky? Uh, actually, it was from Roy. You oh. know how I first learned about Sparky? It was uh, TSG Multimedia. They were talking about this guy. Who, maybe they were doing a, a collection. They said, anybody wants to donate? They'd like sell videos. They make videos of trains, the real trains too, the big ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, they said, anybody that does this, we're going to donate something to help this guy that lost all his uh, trains in a flood. Does it look like the truck's on now? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's sort of narrow in here for his big dudes. Yeah, I know. And, uh, Roy, Roy, and I. <laughs> and I Roy, Roy said the same thing. Yeah. Oh, this is a plastics company? That's what this yeah. one is? Yeah, uh-huh. Now. I bet you get some really good close-up shots by you getting the camera angle like that. I'm going to get behind you here so just let me give you a heads up. I'm going to get a close-up shot of my cell phone coming in here. Yeah, we lost the headlights, so did you notice that? Yeah, because when I unmute it, it'll only respond to the front one.